From the time I was little, I can remember watching my parents cook. I remember my sisters and I would either be standing there watching them or my mom giving a small task like washing the vegetables. Being from a big family, we didn't have a lot. What we did have was good food. Food meant family and being together. Food soon became associated with being able to come together and enjoy each other's company. It was a happy time. During the summer times, my parents would take us to home weddings or to hoopli ceremonies and I always remember associating these events with good food. There would be a plethora of dishes from the fresh butchering of animals that morning. It usually consisted of a slaughtered pig, fresh chickens, or a cow, depending on what the occasion was. There would be large vats of soups, usually la, and egg rolls. I remember coming home from school and watching PBS cooking shows with Yan Kim Cook and being inspired to get into the kitchen. That taught me that there is a process required, a methodology that consisted of putting a ratio of ingredients together and a method of cooking it to make it edible. And good ingredients were key. Cooking over the years and the family time is what inspired me to start the banana leaf. A lot of people ask about who the Hmong are and what Hmong food is. Hmong people migrated out of China in the 1600s down to Southeast Asia like Laos, Thailand, and Vietnam. This created a rich and diverse food culture. The best way to describe Hmong food would be soulful and homey. Ever, ever since I've known my wife, she's been interested in cooking. Um, when we lived in Vegas, she actually cooked lunch and brought it from my office. She had a whole menu. Um, people in the office would order from her, and she would make it at home and deliver it in little to-go boxes, and she really enjoyed doing that. I mean, we've always talked about her doing a food truck or opening a small brick and mortar. Um, just the pandemic hit in 2020, and uh, we were unable to do that. We were also just, our lives were in a busy spot at the time. We moved back to Colorado um, shortly towards the end of the pandemic and you know we weren't really even planning on opening a restaurant. We were just uh, in Idaho Springs, Colorado which is close to where we live and we saw this place we ran across the street and um, it wasn't in the best of shape um, but it was, in main, it was on the main street in Idaho Springs um, and I, I thought it would be a good opportunity for her to um, open a brick and mortar and I kind of just uh, shoved her off the cliff and uh, called up the number that, that was on the sign that said for rent and uh, started talking with the landlord. And um, so we rented the place and uh, it was in really bad shape. Um, the walls are blue, there was no floor. The floor is uneven, it's a 100 year old plus building. There were fake rocks on the wall that were just they were terrible. Um, so I got my general contractor's license just to do the build-out for her. You know, we had done some residential spaces before this, and we decided uh, why not take it on and just leap head at first. Um, that was in June of last year. Um, I was thinking, you know, we'd be done with construction in, in January, um, but here we are um, in November, and we're still going. One lucky thing about the space is that it used to be a restaurant, so we're really just updating the equipment here, but. Uh, it's been a journey so far, and uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun. Um, been a lot of stress and heartache, and hoping that it would get open soon, and and you know just just trying to complete the project so my wife can get open. Uh, we're we're close to the end now. 
Um, we're getting very close. We should be open by the first of the year. Um, but, it, you know, it's been a journey. Uh, but what I really wanted to do was push my wife to, to do something she loved, to have something of her own to build and, and to enjoy and to, and to follow her passion. Even if she didn't necessarily believe in herself, you know, I believe in her. So here we are. <laughs>